<laughs> I'm good. How are you? Good. Come on in. What are you guys up to today? Well, about 5'11", but gravity's pushing me down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. What is this over here? That's a bear. It's <laughs> you... Yogi. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Did Jason you? shot that bear. It's wow. the 36th largest grizzly bear ever taken with a boat in Alaska. Oh my gosh, you must be so proud. Oh yeah, he's and, proud. And are you an avid hunter yourself? Uh, no, no, I don't hunt. I eat I eat the food, but I don't hunt the food. Oh, that's excellent. I, I let other people do my killing for me. That's very good. <laughs> what is down here? You seem to have some oh, more animals as well. well. Come on, Ellie, I'll show you. This is what we call the African room right here. Oh boy. And come on down in here, I'll show you. So that's a zebra rug. Bill Johnson bought that for us one year. Aww. These are uh, animals that well, Jay got some of them, and Kathy, and Kathy got that one. And, oh, man. Yeah. And then we get, we've been to Africa, so these are things from all over the world. Oh, my goodness. That's all from Africa right there. Wow. Africa, 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 <laughs> and Africa. So you're a big fan of Africa, I see. Yeah, wow. I like Africans a lot. That was the very first picture we ever got right there. Wow. When we were totally broke, we bought that. They, they lowered the price from like $800 to 200 and we bought it. And, that was the first piece of art we ever had. That's amazing. And so let me get this right. Kathy hunts. She hunts. She hunts. Yeah. Wow. And so that's her, that's her prize possession yeah, on the. That. I, yeah, I don't hunt, um, but she hunts and like this year she got a bear with a bow. That's incredible. Yeah. If someone breaks into our house, I, I wake her up. I'm like, go check that out. Oh my this. gosh. And who plays the piano? She plays piano too. <laughs> oh, so she's the talented one in the family. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, let me just say that as we do this tour, you're going to find out who's really the top. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Well, Chris, what's been one of your highlights of 2022? Oh, um, well, Kathy getting her bear is a real highlight. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a Corvette this, this That's year. That's right. Maybe yeah. you'll have to show us that later. I don't know. I'll show it to you later. That is good. Are those cookies that I spell oh, bacon? Yeah. Come on. We're going to show you another talent here. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's Kathy cooking, Kathy I see. Dalton. Oh, man. Here we go. Wow. Oh, oh, there she is. The hey, woman yeah. of the. Oh, hello. A hug. Oh, I'll give you a hug. How are you doing? Good, honey. How are you? Oh, good, good. And I hear oh, you're cookies. baking something. I am. Oh my gosh, what are you cooking? I am. Here's my pop holder. Oh, here it is. Um, I am making my famous chocolate chip oatmeal. Oh my gosh, that cookies. sounds delicious. And did I hear you uh, renovated your kitchen this year? Oh yeah. We did. Oh my look goodness. At this. Yum. Those this look woman delicious. Can cook and I can eat, so that's one thing we have in common. That's good. Yes, ma'am. Well, look at this, you gotta try these. My goodness, those look absolutely delicious. Want one? Oh sure, I'll take one of those. Amazing. Those look delicious. And what are these countertops? Are these marble countertops? No, they're quartz. Oh my gosh. They're amazing. We just got, we just finished our remodel finally after months of delay, but they don't stain. They're easy to clean. Oh they're my gosh. Just, yeah, they're perfect. What'd you guys eat during the remodel without the kitchen? Oh my gosh. Try to live like a college student. <laughs> no way. That's incredible. I know. And Kathy, when is your cookbook coming out? Everyone's dying to know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We just got done with Good God and Ugly, and I'm just still recovering from that one. Oh my goodness, well, we're waiting. We're Speaking just Speaking of which, yes. did you know that my book, Good God and Ugly, and Chris's book um, that he just finished, Uprising? Uprising, that's right. We're doing a bundle on that. Oh my goodness, a little and, Christmas deal. Yeah, a little Christmas deal. And one of the things that we're giving away is this free recipe. Look at that. Your famous Look cookie recipe. Oh my gosh. Well, that is going to be fun. Mm. Where can they, Soft where can they, and crunchy on the outside. Oh, delicious. Mm -hmm. Where can they get that book bundle at? On Bethel's website. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds good. Should we take Chris some of these cookies? Well, he said he's not eating sugar, but. Oh. <laughs> right. And Kathy, what's been one of your highlights in 2022? Um, Physically, I've been feeling better this year than I have in years past. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And then being able to shoot my bear, that was awesome. That's I right. I was able to go with my son. That's great. And yeah. do you have any family Christmas traditional recipes that you make every year? Oh, we do Chipino every year. What's Chipino? It's a crab. It's based with a tomato sauce and with crab and... Um, Shrimp and hey, hon. Hey. Hey, I got some cookies. Ooh, you brought me some cookies. Yeah. Come on. 
Oh yeah. Oh just my. One, just one though. <laughs> <laughs> just one, yeah. Are those your favorite cookies? Yeah, they don't tend to go here. They tend to go right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are my favorite cookies right here. What is this room we're in? No raisins though. I hate oh, raisins. Oh, you hate raisins? Mm -hmm. I think she might have snuck some cranberries in there though. Yeah, cranberries are okay. They're kind of like a little bit like false prophets, but... Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so what room are we in? This is my office. Oh, very good. Yeah, How this is my famous, my, my, my most, I say famous, this is my dad right here. He probably feels famous to you, huh? Yeah, he, he drowned when I was three. Mm. But I, I have him in here because it reminds me Yeah. that he's with me. That's very good. Yeah, really beautiful. What's his name? His name was William, Bill. William. They call him Bill Valley Belt, and that's his f football right here. Was he quite the athlete? Oh, yeah. He got drafted by the NFL before the NFL really paid any money. Wow. But yeah, so this is uh, his ball right there, Bill That's Belton. That's amazing. Yeah, I only have two things by him because my first stepfather um, burned all of the things that my father won. Wow. So yeah. That's where you got all your athletic ability, huh? <laughs> I don't think I inherited his uh, athletic ability, actually. I'm really not good at anything. Well, I heard you play basketball. I do. Yeah, I do. I, I, yes, I do play basketball. I'm on the court. I run around. Yeah. I'm not very good, though, but I do love to play. Aww. What's been one of your favorite activities that you've had this year? Well, I play basketball every Monday and every Friday, and that's really cool. That's and, fun. Um, that's been really fun. And then I, th I think as far as like spiritually, I think we did a SQ Institute that was just really epic this year. That's awesome. And uh, that was, I was really, really uh, proud of, of the team. And I feel like a lot of people got really touched. That's awesome. What's one of your favorite trinkets in this okay, office? Okay, I'm going to tell you my very favorite trinket. Because I, I, I actually heard that you were going to ask this question. <laughs> so this heard right through here, the grapevine. So these are things from all over the world for, you know, for example, um, this watch right here was given to me by, um, this watch right here was given to me by a Russian general. Wow. And when I was in Russia, he got so touched, he gave me the watch that was his inaugurational watch. And wow. this right here was given to me by the Cardinal of Baja, California, a Catholic Cardinal. Wow. And he put it around my neck. Wow. He read the Moral Revolution book. He was 73 years old. Oh my gosh. And he said to me in Spanish with through a translator, this is my most prized possession. Wow. I received this when I was commissioned as a cardinal 50 years ago. That's amazing. And he said, when I was reading your book, I was so touched by, by Jesus that I felt that I was to come and bring this to you. Wow. And there was 50 Protestant pastors in the room when he put this around my neck. That's powerful. And pa Catholics and Protestants don't get along. And mm -hmm. he broke down. They broke down and wept. Wow. And the translator said, I, I don't know if you have any idea what just happened to you. Wow. So this is my most prized possession right here. That's incredible. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat. Yeah. So, hey, you writing any new books right now? Yeah, yeah. We just finished Uprising. Yeah. And uh, this is Uprising, the most epic battle for the... The epic battle for the most father's generation in history. Very cool. Yeah, it'd be good if I could remember at least the title <laughs> name, right? Hey, what number book is that, though? This is number 15. That's awesome. Yeah, Kathy's book, you know. The good, the God, and the ugly we have right here. That's so cool. This is all the books we All your books. Right? Have you written most of your books in this room? Um, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm really, you know me, I'm a little ADD, so. Uh -huh. And a little, I, so I need to move around. So yeah. I, 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 I write in here a lot, uh -huh. but I also move around. I get it. Because I can't sit in one it's spot. Long... You sit at one spot all day long. It's I pretty, do. It's pretty challenging, it's pretty I have challenging. to tell you. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, and I collect knives and watches. Actually, I never started collecting knives. I never, I haven't bought five of these watches and I haven't bought five of these knives, but I have hundreds of them. People give them to me from all over the world. Old one, swords, real sword. That's a real sword. That's incredible. Everywhere. Yeah. Well, should we go decorate the tree with Kathy? We should go decorate the tree. Let's it's do one it. of my non favorite things to do. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Babe, you're decorating the tree. Oh, I am. Oh, I love not doing that. You. Are you guys real tree or fake tree kind this of people? Is a real, real tree, tree right here. It's been a Valentine tradition yep. for the last three years now. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, that's a hefty so, tradition. When the kids were young, we always cut trees, and then Aww. as time got, you know, as time went on, we, you know, we went to the, you know, the fake trees, you know, uh -huh. a little bit cleaner. Yeah. You guys have any special ornaments? 
We, well, these, these, uh, a lot of these have been given to us over the years. Aww. You know, we'll get, or uh, like Tracy Evans sends us a new ornament every year. That's sweet. Who's Tracy Evans? Tracy Evans grew up in our house and she's one of the African missionaries. One of the reasons why our African room is full of Moses. Wow. Uh, one of the re reasons why we have an African room, yeah. actually, Heidi Baker and, and Tracy, Tracy Evans are two people that are close friends and we support. That's awesome. And she gives us a, she gives us a, a new one of these every year. That's so cool. Yeah, I love it. Cool. Some of these are like too heavy. Yes. They are. <laughs> yeah. tree. The next time we need to get a more stout tree. I know. This That's... tree was a pretty tall tree and we cut off the top. What's this? this you guys have oh, any? Oh, That's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You guys ever experienced a Christmas miracle? Yes. Oh, do you, you remember? You want to tell a story? Do you remember tell it, Kathy. Will? Yeah, we, we had a Christmas where we had no money. This is Weaverville. Our kids were probably, oh, they were probably from 10 years old down to what, like six? Mm -hmm. No no money for Christmas. And Christmas is a big deal for us. So Kathy was making little trinkets and stuff so we'd have a Christmas. And then the on the 24th, the day before Christmas, mm -hmm. we got a phone call from the pizza parlor and they said... We had, we had gone just a couple weeks before and had pizza after church and had one coupon put in for a drawing. And the only like thing the kid, tickets. We, we only had enough money to buy maybe one present for all three of the kids. Wow. And they, so we thought we'd get them a Nintendo you know, set. Mm -hmm. So we were saving up the money to, to do that. And then the ticket came and then we got the phone call. We got a phone and call. And it was so awesome because we went, to, we went as a family to the pizza parlor. And we had no idea what it was. We had no idea what it was. And she said, you won and like what did we win and she said you won a defender game it was an arcade game oh my defender. gosh size size arcade arcade game. Arcade that's game. incredible yeah kind of put money in and everything so it was we had youth group was it was the it was the most you know wonderful christmas we'd ever had to that date because you know here we were sacrificing and then we mm. won this multi-thousand dollar that's game and the kids permission. played that for years wow. our youth group grew dramatically <laughs> that's <laughs> They'd incredible come over early you couldn't get the kids to come early and then all of a sudden we had a defender game and we packed yeah. the kit it was in house. our kitchen for, for a couple of years yeah a couple of years that's <laughs> amazing yeah so. chris what was your favorite tradition as a kid your christmas tradition well you know, I come from a Spanish family, so we all we all were invited to my grandparents' house, which means you had to come. Mm -hmm. So I just remember my grandmother would cook, and you had to eat. Yep. And, uh, and so you know, Christmas was you come to the house, you eat dinner, and mm -hmm. usually it was like ham and turkey, even at Christmas. Yeah. And Japino, and Japino is a tradition that we've continued. Mm -hmm. Which is going on well. Maybe we've, been, we've been together for 45 years, so it's probably like 70 years. 70 now. year tradition where we have crab, it's kind of crab and sauce. Yep, and you, you kind of have to put Shrimp. on a bib or an old shirt, and everybody eats it, and crabs everywhere, which is part of the because you crack it, you crack yep. it your hands when you and you eat French bread, you eat so French, it's just bread. French bread and chipino, so yummy. So yeah. all of my cousins would be there, and my grand, my grandparents, and of course, my parents, and there'd be. 30, 40 people, maybe more than that, and tables would be, you know, there's only a couple of tables, and then we'd have plywood, and my grandfather would put, you know, yep. um, put these, you know, seahorses underneath, and uh, seahorses, saw horses, saw horses, <laughs> saw horses underneath, and we'd have, you know, and they would go all the way out of the room, because, uh, you know, into the hallway, uh -huh. because we, they didn't have a very big house. That's awesome. And we'd eat that, and then we'd go crash the presents. It was really fun. Oh, I, that's I, a special Christmas. Christmas was always really special for that's us. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, Kathy, should we go see your horses? You want to? Let's do it. Really? Horses. Oh, yeah. Let me oh, get my gosh. jacket. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Oh, yeah. You're speaking now my Now we're talking. <laughs> not only does she hunt, not only does she fish. By the way, she has a bass boat. Oh man, so Chris, you ride these horses with Kathy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, uh -huh. all the time. He's a big horseback rider? His, his idea. Not. No. Kathy, did you ride horses as a kid? Once in a while, but nothing, you know, regular or anything. Yeah. So. You got carrots for the horses? I do. You want a piece of some horses? No. <laughs> yeah, let's okay. do it. Kathy, so I heard that Chris proposed to you on Christmas Day. Is that right? He did, with a ring and everything. Gosh, I was 13. You were 13, 13 years, old. years old. What were you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. What did you feel when you realized he was proposing? 
Well, you know, I had a feeling, because we had looked at rings, and I had a feeling it was going to happen, but I didn't know exactly when. And so, um, he had, really, there was this big, huge box. And it ended up being 32 boxes within this big box and presents along the way. And the last, the very last, the very last um, present was a can. Oh my gosh. And one of the things was a can opener. So I'm opening this can up and my, he had canned my ring. Oh my gosh. I never knew you could even do something like that. That's crazy. So I was like crying and I got pictures of it Aww. and so. That's so special. Yeah, and then we got married at 17. Got married at 17. Yeah. Where did you guys get married? We got married in Newark, California. Oh, sweet. In a church? Um, yes. Yeah. In That's church. amazing. What's one of your favorite activities to do with Chris if he's not so much into the horseback riding? Oh, remodel. <laughs> <laughs> you like some projects, some house projects? projects? Oh, gosh, yeah. My goodness. What are some of the things that you guys have created together? Oh, my goodness. Where's my horses at? Let's go find them. Hey, buddies. Kathy, how long have you had horses? I've had them for 10 years. Oh, my goodness. This is Legend, and he's a food monger. Oh, my gosh. He loves the food? He does. What this do you feed them? Just um, straight grass hay. Oh my gosh, they're coming for you. And what's this one's name? Dreamer. Dreamer and Legend. Did you name them? Yes, I did. So who goes horseback riding with you if Chris doesn't? My granddaughter does a lot, Riley. Oh yeah. She loves riding horses, she rides Legend. But he's got, he's got allergies and he's keeping his eye. Oh. Oh, Kathy, what are you looking forward to in 2023? Oh, wow. I know, that's a big question, huh? You know, it's fun. Yeah, because like in what area? <laughs> um, I'm excited for what God's doing in the church. Yeah, that's awesome. What I see happening. Yeah. With um, just the Holy Spirit moving the way he is. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of going back to the old days. How old were you when you became a believer? I was... 16. Wow, so you were young. All gone, buddy. No, you can't eat my basket. All done. Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Bye. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> they're so sweet. They are. They're, they're really sweet. They'll do anything for food. <laughs> that's awesome. Kathy, what do you like to do in your free time? Ride horses. Ride horses. Go Seems fishing. fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Seems really fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you big kisses. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, hey, I, I hear you and Chris are going out somewhere. Yeah, we are. Where are you guys off to? It's a surprise. A big surprise. I hate surprises. I don't know. Well, Kathy, what are you asking for this Christmas? You know, I'm terrible at that because anything that I want, I've pretty much already gotten. Yep. So it's all about the intentional gifts, right? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Maybe a new Corvette? No, I don't even like driving it. Really? No. That's right. Are you a fan of the top on or off? Well, my hair blows everywhere, and so I usually the top on. But I see the top is off. So, top is off. so you're in for a real treat oh, today. An adventure, baby. An adventure. Oh, my gosh. Chris, is he your new Corvette? Getting inside this thing is really something. Getting out is... Work. Not bad with the roof off. <laughs> totally true. You look a bit like Batman. <laughs> a red version of Batman. <laughs> My roof isn't here to hold on to. That's sweet. There Chris, is this your dream car? This is my dream car. That's incredible. I jumped this car when I was a boy. That's you amazing. All kinds of models of Corvettes. Yeah, probably did built six Corvette models when I was a boy. Oh man. Hey guys, well one last question. What would you say to everyone watching? How would you encourage them this Christmas? Well, let me just say, first of all, Merry Christmas from the yes. Valentine house to your house. And I would say that the, the peace of Christ be with you. And we believe that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind this year. Lots of people don't have families. Lots of people alone at Christmas. And we want to say that God puts alone in the family. So we pray that God would put you in a family if you're alone. And if you're with your family, we pray that you'd have a very incredible exponentially amazing Christmas this year. Beautiful, you guys. Well, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. God bless you guys. See Thanks you later. Now.